and we're rolling. What's up, guys? It's me, Noah, aka Rude Cow, aka the Golden Boy, aka Chief of the Slapaho Nation. I could probably make more nicknames. There's no real need to. What's going on? I'm giving a shot this whole video log thing, the vlog, as they say. Part of the reason I'm doing this connection. Uh, and I'm actually saying this mostly for my friends, all my guys in the East Coast, all the people in the Bay, uh, family members that keep pestering me to stay in contact, which is essentially my mom, but everyone else wants me wants to know what I'm doing anyway. Doing this because I suck at keeping contact. A lot of my friends, especially you guys from the East Coast, know people like Eli, Pete, Simon, Louis, Petro, Reverend Pat, all you guys there. I know I haven't gotten stayed in contact as well as I promised. And it's been bad. Uh, it's been real bad. And instead of trying to keep contact with each individually one of you, I feel I'll do this. Start recording, doing updates. I've also, also got a blog online I'm trying to work on. A little more written thing. Uh, nothing really special. Just let me talk about myself. Check it out, kamikaze grab bag at blogspot.blogspot.com. Not at, it's not email. Uh, you can see uh, my work on some of my money dolls. Like little Noah Mini Money there, right? It's freaking adorable. I'm a geek. Oh, music's done. I'm into toys, and so I started checking out this whole vinyl scene. I'm seeing what that's all about. Whatever, I'm in and out of fads like that. It's just it's what happens. I'm just going to keep talking for a while. I don't even know how long this is going to be. What is going on with your boy, Noah? Witcher. That's right, I said Witcher. Lauren has a problem with that. I'm sure some of you guys have noticed from my pictures before and where I am now. I've moved. I got out of my old place, a uh, place I've been for about a year and a half. And, uh, I, yes, I went from being in a huge house to a one-bedroom apartment that I share with... Uh, Jimmy James McKenna, my boy, my partner in crime. We are team bromance all the way. What can I say? There were issues that went down. First off, money was an issue. I had trouble making uh, the seven fifty a month. On top with utilities, on top of that, it was it was rough for me. And with jobs coming in and out, so I couldn't do it anymore. Uh, the other aspect, of course, being I was miserable there. I was feeling disrespected. Uh, I had people, you know, throwing stuff in my uh, room, not asking. I felt like I was constantly being talked down to. Uh, I felt it was in the situations where the rules didn't apply to anybody but me. And though I maintained to be res respectful, I felt I was still treated poorly by people who I considered friends. Because of that, it was not a situation I was happy with. Choir with my landlord about moving out and trying to make that work. Uh, I had the questions as to what the steps were. He never got back to me when I talked to him. I wrote him a letter asking what the steps were in terms of moving out because I was curious. I wasn't ready to do it yet, but I was curious. He went ahead. Uh, when I finally got a hold of him, he told me he was purposely ignoring my calls and that I should have known and I had... I already been using up plenty of my time trying to find a replacement. And then, before I had a chance to get to anybody, after that, because I wasn't going to, I, I probably should have told people what my plans were, but I didn't want to tell anyone because I didn't want to start worrying people until after I, I was making it official. It wasn't official yet. Unfortunately, he came down, talked to my other roommates. They, in turn, got pissed off at me for not telling them when. My landlord's vision was skewed. I handled a lot of things incorrectly. They handled a lot of things incorrectly. Things got to a head, and I felt it was better for me to move out. Do I talk to people? I've been in and out trying to sell when I was trying to sell a place. For the most part, no. Uh, kicked me out of my show, bottoms up. Obviously, I know a lot of people knew I wasn't all that happy with it to begin with. I didn't like the direction. I didn't like uh, certain parts of how the focus was. But still kicked out of something I created for them. I will say, however, uh, you know, fans of the show, if you're really enjoying Bottoms Up, keep watching. Just because me and them aren't hitting it off, getting along, and uh, there's bad blood doesn't mean that it's a bad show. There's still a group of talented people. Uh, in terms of me, I'm willing to say anyone involved with the show, 
Uh, don't contact me till you're not. Yes, I am hurt about how things went down, and I know uh, because the letter I got was very, very imp impersonal, and I know that wasn't a one-person decision thing, and I'm sure you guys can't just assume that, yes, I'm, you guys can tune the show without me, something I'm happy with. Love you all. Don't get me wrong. Love you all. Don't contact me until you're done with the show. That's if you are no longer involved with the show, feel free. We'll hang out. I don't know. Get some drinks, whatever. If you are, don't. Because, uh, yes, I am hurt. Uh, forgive and forget. I know. I understand. But I was hurt. I was hurt badly. I'm sure you guys were too. But fuck it. Don't call me. Simple as that. Other news. I'm trying to work out this camera thing. So the screen's right there. I gotta look right there. I'm working on another project right now. I actually uh, had a meeting last night. It's uh, with my boy Josh Bonanno. Guy is a talented musician and is trying to work a web series about his foray from being an unknown, you know, right out of college guitar punk kid into superstardom. Uh, and so that's gonna be fun. I'm doing some writing for that. I'm doing some acting for that. Uh, no. Me and Jimmy J. McKenna. Once again, we're going to be working on something soon. Uh, got a couple different ideas out. We keep saying we're going to write something, and nothing happens. And so, but I'm building up a repertoire. You know, I'm I'm getting I'm getting ideas together. I know people. He knows people. Uh, I'm sure there'll be plenty of times where, more often than not, we're probably going to be blogging together. It's going to be me and him. And uh, you're even going to see. We're hopefully going to post up our amazing race uh, entrance video. But yeah, yeah, it's gonna be rocking. It's gonna be rocking. Um, wow, it does look like I have ink in my chest. Yeah, no, I do. I do have other stuff. I want. Uh, one second. One second. Where? Where did I put that shit? I am uh, thinking about getting back and doing a drinks thing. Something related to drinks. I don't know what. I don't know how. One of the things I really want to do was kind of initially with the bottoms up. It, I want to do a Good Eats style show. It was, uh, yeah, it was funny, it was entertaining, but the main idea was uh, to teach, to learn, and more behind just making the drink. Just making the drink, anyone can make a drink, but it's about learning where the drink comes from. Each cocktail is like a piece of art. It has history, it has meaning, you know? And so I want to do something like that, and uh, I'm, I'm putting this in right now as a what I'm reading currently. Sippin' Safari. By Beach Bumberry. This is like the typical blog thing. You have the head on one side, the picture on the other, and they're trying to frame it right. When you know, just getting glare. And this, you get the picture within a picture thing right there. I'm probably gonna do something. Uh, this is this is the book. Those who watch the zombie episode, this is it. This is the art. Of, this is the guy. This is the book. And this is uh, the original recipe being right in here. It's almost impossible to exact totally say that because he's got five. The recipe has evolved so much, but I'm not going to give it too much, give it too much. I'm going to keep you guys updated, all right? I'm going to do better. Uh, you know, apologies to a lot of different people back east for losing contact. Apologies for on a certain, someone for completely cutting contact. Uh, you know who you are. I fucked up. I screwed up. But here's what it is. This is my love letter to the east coast, my love letter to the yay area. I'm coming back. I'm gonna let you guys. I'm gonna be back in your guys' life, even if it isn't a personal one-way conversation. It's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, check it out. Once again, I've got uh, the YouTube channel, which I have not decided a name at point of filming. But you'll know. It might be Kamikaze Grab Bag. I might be uh, kicking it old school. You know, letters from the Slap Whole Nation. Uh, you know, give me ideas. What do I? What am I calling myself? Do I do I stick it old? Do I go as old as possible? The original screen name, you know, Rude Cow. Am I hitting up uh, you know, Blue Noah? You know, all the in jokes. Um, I'm sitting on something. Show only me and Eli would ever get that. But whatever, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's it. Miss y'all. Love y'all. Keep it real. Keep it fresh.